so in this video uh, I am going to tell you about uh, how we can select uh, uh, the records from the table and how uh, using servlet and how we can bring it into a uh, web page dynamically so let's uh, let's go back to uh, the view that we are already aware with so this is our JSP and servlet examples so let's look at like how we can select the data from the table so for this uh, I have prepared a link called show table data so the underlying underlying uh, uh, underlying uh, action is being performed by uh, the servlet so if you click on this you please look at here the time you click on this it will create it will make an, a call to show table content uh, servlet so that is going to come into action now look at the uh, show table data so now the, the time you click on the show table data it shows the mysql table content like this is what we have already seen uh, with the example of jsp now if you wish to see like i can show you that see my database when you click on my database this is the thing that we have uh, got uh, using jsp now the same content we are going to get it by uh, the servlet so this is how uh, this uh, servlet is bringing up all the required uh, records from it from the table named student now let us try to see uh, how this uh, show table servlet works this show table uh, works now let's back to the code section now this is what is the show table servlet is now if you wish to see like you have to go for here uh, under the default package you will find uh, you will find the show table uh, content.java uh, uh, servlet and this servlet is utilizing my database library class and the discussion on the my database uh, library class uh, is being you can find out in, in my previous videos uh, so I am trying to utilize this my database library into this servlet called show table content okay now let's look at this show table content servlet so this is the show table content servlet now if you look at here you'll find that this show table content uh, servlet show table content servlet is being inherited from the http servlet class now here quick points are uh, here you are you are having a reference object of database library this the detailed discussion we had in the previous video and the result set because the time we fire a query select query the resultant part is going to result is going to come uh, in a result set and that result set we need to collect okay so our database uh, class is going to handle everything so all host information is into the database class only user password information is into the database class only so in the target servlet what we need is to just create an object of it now this is the service request uh, of the servlet you will find that here at line number 50 we have initialized the database object uh, that is dblob as a uh, library object database class library object so what we have done it here is just look at here we have got a object of this database library we get the status now it means that means that whenever you connect to a database this as i discussed earlier that this connection status will hold true information now if this connection status is true then what then you can go up with uh, select star from the student order by s rule so it will start it will give you the data in a sorted fashion as per the role number so it executes the query look at here at line number uh, 56 it executes the query and result is into the result set now you need to bring all that data into a tabular fashion so what we have to do is this look at here 
this is important that here what you have created you have created a table with a border one then roll number as one attribute name as second attribute age as a third attribute and at the end what you have done is uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to create an actions actions are insert update and delete so in the subsequent videos i will tell you about how uh, the insert is going to happen how update is going to happen and how delete is going to happen now now as of now just look at this that you have executed a query you got result set and this uh, is the while loop which is bringing all data into um, uh, table and this uh, result set dot get string uh, is the method which is reading the first attribute second attribute and third attribute so many so forth and at the end of this uh, it will print this particular data using uh, print writer uh, object so this is how it works now look at here this is giving you all the data and now the interesting thing is here how this link is going to get activated now just look at this link for going up with the link please try to understand this mechanism this is what is already being told to you uh, in some of my previous videos so like see we have to go for an update so in case of update what we need to do is that we need to decide the target servlet now target servlet is get data uh, it is taking an argument called s role s role is the argument right and uh, the role number is into the first uh, attribute of the result set so that is being taken by rs dot get string of one so what we are going to do is that when user is going to click on update we will bring that particular information into a uh, web form so that you can edit that information excluding the time and key values rest of the attributes so it is you that you are going to decide what is to be loaded updated accordingly the link is going to work the same link we are going to perform for delete also and if required we can go with the insert also so in my next video uh, we are going to learn about how a form can submit the data uh, to a servlet and how servlet will insert that particular data into a table structure. If you have any questions, please do uh, post those questions so that I can answer those questions. Thank you.